Hello, my friendos. I've had hell to pay tonight trying to get ready to stream here. The acrobat doesn't want to be captured as a window. So, I don't know what the story is with that. But, <clears throat> anyway. Here's where we're at. I have some new things to show y'all. I have a new solo adventure. The Wolves of Langston. A murder mystery solo adventure where you take your own path and uncover Langston's shadowy killer. So, I want to do this on stream with everybody. I think I'm going to do that this Tuesday. Tonight is just going to be me chilling for a little while. And setting up this adventure. Because there is some maps. Um, other shit. So we're going to figure this out. So right now, what I am doing is setting up tokens for the monsters I might find. There's not very many, as far as I can see, but there are a few smattered throughout this adventure. So, I am setting them up. So you're going to, Hmm, you can either see me on that screen or you can see me on the Roll20 screen. No, I'm not sure what you want to see, but let's try the Chrome screen for now. So I'm just entering into Roll20 right now. A dryad. Well, their version of a dryad. You know, makes me wonder if they have this under SRD. Ooh, they do. Let's drag this over. This thing has a way different setup than they have, but it gets me started. Has magic resistance. Apparently, and this version does not have spell casting ability. So we're going to take that out. Lock that back up. Okay. And it has an unarmed strike. Which. Okay, whatever. Oops, helps if I spell strike, right? Plus two to hit, 1d4 damage. Okay, so that's all the same. And it comes with. its own art. So we're gonna load its art in. Set it up so that the macros are working while the token bars are working. 
That is AC. This is hit point. Ooh, ooh. Oh. 22. Save. Edit. Set this as its token. Oh, now that is all set. And we need to bring this up and put it in the right folder. Hey, get up there. Come on now. Oh, I know why. Dryad. All right, so the Dryad is done. If there's only like three more. We want to copy this. This is my template that I use for um, okay. my template that I use for the, the uh, monsters. I've been setting these monsters up for a very long time. So they've been set up by CR. There's a lot of them that I've been putting in there by hand. Although this doesn't have nearly as much as some of my other um, adventures, campaigns, I should say. And then we'll do maps next. Artwork I like. Oh, well, let me move you back to the Acrobat screen so you can see what I'm looking at. This is the adventure. It's basically a choose your own adventure style type thing. Ew, look at her. Gross. She looks gross. She's a risen corpse. Ew. All right. I'm thinking that's basically a zombie. 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 Eh. 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 Okay. Oh, and I built a character to go on this with, but I haven't finished him off. So I'm going to have you guys help me do that as well. Click to upload. Grouse. Okay. I'm thinking it's just a zombie. Zomb zombicide. Zombie. Hit points 20. <laughs> Zombies have dark vision? And that looks like it's it. That's just a zombie that they took from the SRD. Which is good for me. Um, zamba, zamba, zamba. If you're watching this and you're like, why? This takes a long time. Th you know, thank your DM later for doing all this work for you. Because it really is quite a bit of work. Just setting up the characters and getting everything to work right took me a while to learn this too because i'm not super astute and then you select a token boop all right that works now delete we'll put the risen corpse Let's make sure that that works. Yeah. Still works. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow down. Slow down. Where did it go? There it is. All right. Now we're going to go over here. I'm going to turn you guys back on that screen. Mm 
I want to just get through here and get the bad guys without seeing what without seeing the things that might be spoilers. So let's try to pull over a werewolf. Werewolf, cancel. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of editing to do here. Change that to 12. Okay. And they're all just going to have us use cl us claws. So 1d6 plus 2. We're going to give it 1d8 plus 2. No bites. Okay. All right, that will work for our purposes here. And then upload that guy. And then, oh, gotta give him a name. An experienced werewolf. Kind of a weird name, but okay. And then we want this to be, oops, that. Oh, something went wrong. Okay, we're gonna fix that in a second here. Okay, we're gonna make that 58 and that 58. Why is that not pulling a 12? Well, fuck it. We'll just make it 12. And then edit. Use selected token. And that should be that. So that should be all of the monsters we're going to see. There's only... Six or seven of them. Let's look through and make sure there's no others. Well, I like that art. Mm. You can't see it. Let me move over here and fix it. Look at that. Look at that art. It's nice. I like that. Okay. End of the adventure. Ba ba ba. Um, okay looks good so i don't know what i don't know is a collection of maps is this is a collection of maps you use to run a full combat encounters as part of the obvious mimic solo adventure, The Wolves of Langston. During any encounter in the solo adventure, find the map with the same section number. You can then use that map either digitally or printed out to play. Mm. Okay. 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 So I need to move these maps over. And make some map stuff. So let's move back to roll 20. Look, there's quite a few maps. Two, three, four. Oh, I like that map. Five, six. Okay, we're going to be here for a while. Oh, there's only six. Okay, that's not so bad. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll have all of these. Let's name this one 64. Go there. And then... How are we going to do this? I wonder if I can just copy and paste the whole thing. Copy image. Be sweet if you worked, but I don't think it will. Okay, so we need to open the venerable Microsoft Paint. Oh, no, actually. Yeah. Okay. Copy image. Open up Paint. Because that's, I don't have any fancy programs to do any of this with. So paste that in. And then save this. Save as JPEG. Uh, map, 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 64. Close that out. Move this to the map and background area. Um. And probably do the old that. Upload that. Change size to VTT, yes. Okay. Now, this is a still a pain in the ass because I need to modify this whole thing. So, what I need to do no, Don't use suck. Yes, you do. All right. What I need to do is zoom way the fuck in. And I need to modify how it's picking up this grid. So I need to align to grid. And this is tough. Let me zoom way in. 250%. And I want a three by three square here. Thirty-five by thirty-five, that's good. And then you can see that that is going to match. Yeah. Now let's zoom out. The map almost fit. Now we're gonna have to change that a lot. Okay. So what we need to do, I don't know what the fuck happened there, but sure, is Edit the width, height. I know this isn't really interesting, but there's only one person watching. Wow. And I don't even think they're really watching. So I'm just going to hang out with y'all. Dun, dun, dun. Something like 35. All right, we're close. One, two, three. Dun, dun. And take that down 11 on height. All right, 
I have no idea how this background changed colors, but sure. All right, so this is map 64. Actually, we're missing some, aren't we? That's really weird. Why did the 64 not carry over? Hey, that boy, Nate. We're just working on, working on a solo adventure. Let me show you what we're working on, Nate. I've got a new solo adventure that I went and got called The Wolves of Langston. And it's a solo adventure and I'm going to, it's basically a choose your own adventure. And so I'm setting it up so that we can play it as a group and you guys can make, make the decisions for me and stuff. Um, how's the sound? Is this song loud? This song seems loud. Well, maybe it's not too bad. I'm a little quiet tonight, but I think I'm just okay. Uh, can't really hear it. The music. How about now? It's loud in my ear, but I've got my headphones turned up. So I can turn my headphones down. Okay. Sounds good. Is it good levels? Okay. Yeah, the other night I had to turn it way down, but I have no idea why. Okay. So let's put an object in here. We're going to draw a shape. It's going to be white. They want us to start here. Okay. And that's good enough. Oh, you guys aren't seeing my screen anymore. There. I'm setting up the map. So I'm just, I'm bringing this over to roll 20 is all I'm doing right now. Okay, so that's one map. Let's go to another. We'll get a new map set up over here. This is map for page 130. What you been up to, Nate? Let's do call that one thirty. We're kind of mapping. <laughs> I lost internet a half an hour before I was supposed to DM last night, and so. That didn't happen, but I'm all set for that. I'm all set for that. This is actually the Rampant Roach uh, Roll 20 shell. Okay. But I'm going to use it for this too because I think I can use it. I can just announce that the next three dungeons for my players to vote on to which they want to play. Oh, that's cool that you do it that way. Copy image. Using um, paint. Because. Why not? Paste. Now. How do I get rid of all this fucking white? Eh, it doesn't... That's so weird. When I copy and paste this over on the map that I'm copying and pasting it from, there's a number and a little star on it, and it doesn't come over um, on the paint. That's fine. I can put it back in, but it's just interesting. PNG. 130. Save. You guys aren't seeing all this right now because I need to import it. I'm doing it now. Boom. I learned that 
uh, Streamlabs OBS does not like. Uh, oh boy, Control Z does not like. Um, finding oh i didn't want to do that finding um adobe acrobat oh my god take off be cool if i'd stop doing this okay gm layer there you go okay delete uh, I don't want you on the GM layer. I want you in the map layer. Now go to the map layer. Okay. Zip. These are super simplistic maps, which I'm grateful for. I don't feel like dicking with a bunch of really difficult maps. Now, of course, nothing is ever aligned to the grid or even close. So I gotta do that. Uh, align the grid. All right. Do, do, do. Way too big. Okay, that's good enough for now. Oh, actually, it should have been bigger. Well, that's great. <laughs> Something's changed in roll 20. I'm not sure what's going on, but it changed my background to green for some reason. Okay, cool, whatever. Apply dominant color from map to layer. Oh, it's some new. All right, that's fine. That's cool. Oops. Save. Hey, Jelly. All right, cool. Jelly got toe, Jelly got toe. It's Jelly got toe. I might need a drink tonight. Whoop. This doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to set it well if I can. Take a little more time. Okay. That's going to be close enough. Now they want me, let's so map objects. Right. They want the person to start. Boop. All right, that map is done. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, next map is titled 144. And now we gotta copy this map from the PDF. Copy. 
paint. Microsoft paint, paint, paint. And save as 144. And then bring this over. All right. <clears throat> this is kind of tedious stuff. We don't have much to go. Why? Why do I do this to myself? And this has to go to the map player. Why? Why do I do this? Why do I do this? Oh my God. It's never ending. Okay, delete. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh. We are making Madame Jelligato. We are making the maps for, hold on, let me show you. We're making the maps for the Wolves of Langston. A murder mystery solo adventure where you take your own path to uncover Langston's shadowy killer. Made by Obvious Mimic for 5e so what we're doing i know it's fancy yeah it should be neat it's basically a choose your own adventure and so i set up a character yeah i set up a character last night although i haven't finished it so i think we're going to do that tonight is have you guys help me set up my character and um so what I've been doing is like the combat encounters that have, you know, the bad guys in there here. Um, I made tokens of earlier in roll 20 and now I'm bringing the maps over so that when, when and if we get to combat um, that you guys can see it in roll 20. So that's all I'm doing right now is just setting up. It's just, Kind of boring stuff, but, um, oh, I, Buttercup is not a combatant. I think that was just statistics for Buttercup. Um, there was other combatants. There's a Dryad, a Sturge, a Werewolf, a Wolf, a Corpse, and a Scrappling. And I don't know if you'll run into any of them, all of them. I don't know. So... I'm just setting it all up so that when we get there, it'll be kind of easy to do. 50 by 50, line to grid. So this is just, you know, like I said, this is a little boring, but it's like what DMs go through when they're setting up in roll 20. Dun, dun. How was work today, Miss Jelly? I think you're she, her. Correct me if you're not. App ah, poop. I'll bring this down. Pretty solid. Not much happened. Yeah, Sundays you said can get a little slow. Whoop. She is okay. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. 
All right. That's going to be close enough for government work. I got through the whole first season of Castle Rock, which was legit. What's Castle Rock about? And I'm sorry if I sound like an idiot there. I'm putting this little square in because on the original map, it has a little star on it. If I go over to uh, Adobe Acrobat, you can see the star here, but for whatever reason, it's not pulling that over when I copy and paste it, which again, is fine. I just need to put it in in it's a starting place. Ooh, that takes me to Castle Rock, which is, oh, okay, cool. Stephen King stuff happens. One, two, three, four. And this map is now done, I think. Yeah. And then, ooh, we got a pretty map next. It's very enjoyable. As someone who isn't a big Stephen King fan. Oh, that's cool. That sounds really good. I uh, got up and brought my son to work. Took the dog for a walk. Um, finished up a sheath that I had started yesterday. I guess I stitched it up and did all the edging and stuff like that on it. Um, then I did an entire uh, field notes cover in sort of a pull-up gray, chrome tan pull-up gray. I don't have much of that left, but it's still on my site and someone bought it. And then brought my son to lunch. That was the conversation that we had when we had the conversation about him wanting to go back to school or do something, and that's why I messaged you, and I really appreciate all your help there uh, to help set him up. I'm really excited for that, and I think that that's going to be really good for him. Um, and then took a, just a quick nap so that I could be up a little bit later. I wanted to take a longer nap, but my son woke me up, which is fine. Um, yeah, yeah. And then hopefully you go back to school soon too. Uh, and then I drew up a sheath for one of my brother's clients um which i had to really think about how i was going to do it and then it turned out to be really simple once i thought about it um and that would be neat i post something with hey friends talk me out of grad school and like nobody talked me out of it yeah no you're entirely too intelligent to be limiting yourself in any way and so save as uh 178 save down you're very welcome uh where's 178 there it is all right oop, 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 oop. what are you doing oh, i hate you stop it stop it floor all right, 178, there we go. And uh, fit to page, whatever. And then um, I was going to take a break then earlier and have most of the stuff done before I streamed, but I got distracted. <laughs> I started out on a new with a new stamp on my brother's uh, sheath. And so it's kind of a weird uh, basket weave, kind of. I'll have to show it to you later when it's all done. And then I realized I wanted to airbrush it. So I brought it out to the shop, the garage shop and set up evacuation and um, airbrush that. And then talk to Salty for a little while. She is applying for a different job. She likes her job, but there's a new job out there for her. And so she hadn't updated her resume in some time. So she sent it to me and we updated her resume. 
She had it done, of course, but she just wanted me to proofread. My first couple of degrees are in English, and her so are hers. And yeah, I think I think she'd be really good for that job, and I I hope she gets it. I think it would, it would put her life on a lot more easy mode um, instead of like single mother mode. Yeah, there were a lot of commas in there, Oxford commas. She wasn't using Oxford commas, and I'm like, eh, maybe we should. So I went through and found them all. I think I found them all. Yeah, exactly. I want width. And reduce height. I like this map. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Are we good there? Okay, let's... This is kind of a pretty map. Deedly, deedly, dee. Yeah, I appreciate the good vibes. We'll see how it goes. She Again, she's happy where she's at because the schedule is so open that she can be around her, you know, she can be really free with her son but it's not like she's making a ton. Of, and really what it comes down to is no bennies. And so that's hard. Although her son is covered by her ex. So that's good. He's got good insurance. So, but she still needs it. So instead of paying for her, oh, yeah, we'll have to measure it all out. Mm. I say we, she, but, you know, I'm going to support whatever she does and I want know yeah yeah i want salty to have insurance too well you and your crazy liberal ways jelly everybody should have a gun we believe in that yeah i, I don't i don't even i don't even like i don't even like the i don't even like the look of it without an oxford comma this doesn't look right but again I'm sure some of that is just being old. All right. I start down here in front of the couch, apparently, or whoever starts this fight. Um, almost done with pulling maps over, and then we will pull up my character, and I'll show you guys what I did. I basically just brought um, Max Spade over from the adventure that we did with... Um, on the litching hour um and but i had to modify him so make him level two and uh okay we got three more maps after this one this one's done okay this one is wolves It was so beautiful here. The weather was so nice today. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're not going to fight anybody here I, that I know of. I, I agree with you. I would pay fucking money to watch V and Jelly just beat the fuck out of somebody for an Oxford comma. V was some of the best money I ever spent. All right, paint. You guys aren't seeing this right now, but I'm bringing over the map. No, 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 she's not. I'm bringing over the map from... Um, boom. From the PDF that I got. I'll give you guys the link to the Wolves of Langston. It was a super cheap thing. And it and the maps and VTT stuff was free. So I don't know. I'm really been happy with it so far. The art is really good. Yeah, you know. Yeah, right. 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 227, 227. Two more maps after this one. I want this to go. Ah, you poop head. 
Z. Always leave it on the wrong thing. Um, absence of token. This needs to go to the map layer. This is like real time watching what uh, DMs go through on a weekly basis. Okay, that's better looking than I thought at first. What was it before MLA? Was it, was it called Chicago style? God, I'm dating myself now, but. Advanced, aligned to grid. Yeah, oh, jelly. Let me ask my good friend Google. It might have been, I think it was called Chicago style. Thirty-seven by thirty-seven. Line to grid. Manual style is still a thing. Just no one uses it. <laughs> Sourced out of the University of Chicago. Yeah, that's what I remembered it being. Okay, that map. We got two more maps after this, and then we will. Somewhere I still have a manual from the college days. Can't remember which one. Probably MLA. I probably was MLA. That's what I had in college as well. Mr. Liam. A likely suspect. Emphasis on the sus of suspect. How are you, Mr. DM Liam? So, Mr. Liam. What we are doing here tonight, my friendos, is we are, I purchased, it came up as a suggestion, I forget where, um, but I purchased this solo adventure titled The Wolves of Langston by Obvious Mimic Press. A murder mystery solo adventure where you take your own path to discover Shanks, Langston's shadowy killer. Made for 5e. It's designed for your own character. And it is basically a choose your own adventure. So if you go down there, you have to choose these numbers and things like this. So I figured I would set this up and we would play it as on Tuesday night. Started on Tuesday night. And just go through it as a, as a group. And see and have fun. Okay. Now, the cool thing about it, Liam, is too, is you can purchase it for your own group. They have a separate publication. Yeah, MLA is, I think it's basically just Chicago that they took. Um, I have to be able to grade MLA or APA because I don't, I don't really give a shit. They have really, truly sort of come together over the years. So, but anyway. Um, they have two different types of downloads, one that is the solo adventure and one that is for your party. So I don't know which one you have, but I also learned this new feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature, uh, on roll 20. That if you have it set to it, it takes the dominant color in the background and changes the behind background to that color. So I'm learning about that tonight a little bit. Or just, I was like, why did it all turn green? But it started doing that. <clears throat> so... Oh, this map is different size all the way around. I was telling earlier, Liam, I was talking to my son and he, I think this summer 
we're going to get him certified in some tech stuff and see if he wants to go down that path with his life. I think he is excited about that. He said he wants to learn to build computers and, and repair things. Like that's like something he just really wants to do, which really surprised me. Um, and he's like, dad, then I could stream it. I was like, that's a really fucking great idea. Like if you had your own, if you moved to a college town and you set up a business where you just repaired phone screens, I mean, you'd make money forever, you know, or phone screens or get documents back, lost documents for college students. I mean, you know, I don't know, but he's gonna he's finishing up his first year in school right now and he just doesn't know what he wants to do and so jelly had a suggestion of a cert i think it was a really good idea and i think it will allow him to sort of dip his toes in seeing unless apple wins the right to repair war yeah right Jeez, let's not think about that yeah i agree such crap such poo poo But even if he just did, you know, PC building and repair in a college town or something, just as he worked his way through college, I think he'd do really well and he would get a lot of experience. So Salty and I are going to set him up with that. An A plus certified repair tech. Uh, Liam, that's actually the grade he got when he was becoming a repair tech was A+. We're proud of you, Liam. Good job, bud. I'd hate to have that C- repair tech. That would suck. All right, so that's where that goes. Oh, I put that on the wrong layer, but it doesn't matter because it needs to be on the map anyway. All right. Two more maps. We are on map 286. What is this, like a graveyard? Oh, my God. It's so terrifying. This is so spoopy. I just wet myself. Okay, that's too big. Boba is demanding treat time 13 minutes. Er Boba. Let's get our shit together, Boba. Okay, buddy? Let's not put, let's not demand. Jelly has the softest skin of anybody in this stream. Clay mask and all. I mean, that's an assumption. We might have to have a competition to see who has the softest skin. But uh, my money's on jelly tonight. Third Boba. Come on, buddy. Let's get our shit together, Boba. Let's not. Let's not. You know, Liam's had a rough day. And he doesn't need you demanding shit prior to treat time. That's just unnecessary, Boba Jam. Uncalled for and uncool. All right, we want this on the map layer. And we need to be on the map layer. Can everybody hear the music? It's a little subdued this evening. Ah, poo-poo caca. We need to align to the grid. Align to grid. It always has that exclamation point, like we're gonna like we're yelling at it. Yeah, I really want to align the grid. I'm really excited. 
that's the that's the best right there. Align to the grid. Wolves two eighty six. Entree. Go over here. Holy map. This map is huge. Huge. It's huge. Not that huge. But wide. It's wider. I think it's a graveyard. Okay. That is a girthy map package. Mm. Arathur, did you wash off your clay mask, buddy? To preserve your super silky skin? If not, I suggest you do so. I don't, want, I don't even want to imagine what would happen. Damn it. I'm still not big enough for this fucking map. Nah, I deliver... Fa oh, God. Why do I even bother? <sighs> you do me a disappoint. All right, Liam. And did you scold Boba for having this ridiculous time frame? And all of the demanding? Further, what was for treat time this evening? I think I've tried one once, Arathu. Jelly was talking about their temptations. The band? You you fed a 50s doo-wop band to the cat? The fuck is going on here, Liam? Is this some Canadian shit? What is this? What's going on, Liam? Treat time is just <laughs> oh, and a handshake, huh? Okay, and Boba shakes hands. Okay, this is screwed up. He does shake hands, huh? Okay, all right. So I think this is a graveyard, top-down view. Okay, we need to add in where... I don't know who starts here, but I'm assuming these are like start areas. Wait, does just Boba get treat time? Why does not other kitty get treat time? It seems like shite. Oh, Mochi does too. But Mochi was not insistent this evening. Just Boba Jam. Getting rowdy. I think you'd have to go to Canada to get treat time, buddy. All right, last map. Wolves 350. Yeah, you just can't expect. Hey, Father Jay. Yep. There's a girl in Canada that really wants me to come visit. 
Are you talking about Dices? Wait a minute. All right, hold on. I got to tell Salty goodnight. No, no. Uh, Mahogany Witch? Nah, you don't know them. They got no morals. Dun, dun, dun. Girls in Canada, man. You don't know her. Copy image. There's a girl. Has plugs with my initials on them. I'll leave it at that. Uh, plugs? Like, butt plugs? Ear plugs? What, what are we? Yes, I asked two things. First or second thing I asked, Arathu. It's a plug for every occasion. First. Well, that's nice. That is very, very nice, Arathu. A butt plug with your initials. You can get initials on butt plugs? I am confused because I didn't realize that you monogrammed these sorts of things. I mean, but what do I know? 350? Save, move. It's the age of the internet and Aquarius. Okay. Well, I learned something new. Initials on your butt plugs. That was some decades ago, Dio. Oh, well, shit. I guess I'm a little behind here. All right, let's get this. I don't know what this is. Oh, look, there's a skelly over here. Ah, no. I pooped myself again. Um, now I have the age of Aquarius stuck in my head. It's the age of Aquarius. All right, map layer. Is she a hot Canadian girl, Rathu? Align to grid. With plugs? Plugs? That's not what we want. That's obviously not right. Damn it. Grid alignment tool. Bit short. That's nice. One, two, three. This is what I want. Oh, redhead's nice. Brown eyes. Damn it, why are you giving me 80 by 60? Well, screw it. I'm just sick of messing with this. Okay. All right, we'll send pics to Rathu. I'll be the judge of this. Um, beedly, beedly, D. Almost done, kids. I'm going to call that close enough. There's no place to start on this map, so I'm not sure where to start. <laughs> oh, God. 
I shouldn't have even started that. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've is Pyro Club still on? I didn't want to start too soon. No, they're done. I wonder who they read it into. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Delete. Some RPG channel. Okay. I didn't want to jump on them and, but. We live in a samsara. Okay. Maps are done. The cycle of samsara. Okay, 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 okay. So with that done. Oh, where's my... Oh, here we go. I didn't even name my character. All right, here is my character here. I was supposed to make a second level character. So... I decided to make an elven rogue investigator. So I gave it its basic stuff, did the rolling and all this stuff online, but I did not do any ideals, bonds, or flaws. I'm not even sure about the alignment if I'm happy with that. But we can work on that now. Only second level. It has this official inquiry background that I pulled from uh, someone else's homebrew, I think. No, no, no. Uh, this is from Curse of Strahd, actually. The investigator comes from Curse of Strahd. So the official inquiry is my background. You're experienced at gaining access to people and places to get information you need. Through a combination of fast-talking determination and official-looking documentation, you can gain access to a place or individual related to a crime you're investigating. Those who are involved in your investigation avoid impeding you or pass along your requests. Additionally, local law enforcement has firm opinions about you, viewing you as either a nuisance or one of their own. Okay, okay. But what I need is some ideals, bonds, and flaws. So we can write that up where we want. Opinions. Trademark. What do you think, Jelly? What should the ideal be? Uh for my investigator. I'm thinking that. Um, my ideal should be something like uh, follows the truth to its end, no matter where it leads him. Let's try that. Bonds? I don't even know. What is a bond? I don't use these a ton. Uh, doesn't like to be wrong. Justice at any cost, or we're getting wacky. Justice for all puppers. Okay, flaws. I think that makes sense, Acid Burn. Flaws should be... Um, Big anime titties. Is that a bond, a flaw, or an ideal, Father Jay? 
You know, because I'm with you. I'm with you. Just need to know where we're going with this. What is a bond? Depends who's getting the back pain. That's true. Bonds. I didn't want you. Okay. A bond is... What is in this world next to your... Oh, okay. What is my, what is my character value besides big anime titties? Spelled with Ds. Titties. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about this character just yet. I did pick the first case. Fine dining. <laughs> That's what it cares about. Uh, what are they willing to risk their life for? What drives them? What keeps them in a city? Or so did I choose instead of an ideal? I think it might be a bond. Macrame basket weaving underwater gets really upset if you overcook the steak. Um, I so then what is an ideal 5e? Ding ding. Personal characteristics that are listed ideals are merely a short sentence, one or two. The veterans often ignore these options. Yeah. Um, what ideals and the personal characters really for? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, they're from the backgrounds. Okay, I've got it here. Believes that the law must be upheld unless the law is immoral, is, is unethical. Kind of a lawful neutral type of thing. Okay, I need a name. We need to name this elf investigator. Elf investigator. Uh, 5e. I need a name for this dude. Bob McBob. Wow, you guys are helpful tonight. I kind of like this picture, though. Bob McBob. And I want a token maker. Pointy-eared Poirot. I don't think I would have known how to spell Poirot if I had to. Bob McBoob. Okay. It's getting worse. Okay. Ben Dover. You guys. You guys are a bunch of cads. Scallywags. Oh. Download. All right. Edit. I'll just keep working here while you guys figure out what my dude's name is going to be. As opposed to Bob McBob and his brother bend over. Save. And then we'll get started on reading how to play the game and doing stuff like that. And then we'll play it on Tuesday. Dip Jacru is, is not the be best name either. That's the name that came with him dip, uh, dip by default. Dip McCrew. Okay, this needs to stop. Objects.
the tokens. Okay. Alfred Locksworth. You know what? I could deal with that. Guido Sarducci. <laughs> okay, hit points are 17. 17. That's done. Edit. Alfred Locksworth. Crime investigator. I'm down with that. Save. Better than Dip as a first name. <laughs> That's a pretty rough ass name. <laughs> Let me switch you guys over to this screen here. Okay. So if you want to check this out, these guys are at obviousmimic.com, I'm pretty sure. Let me check that to make sure that I'm right. Yeah. Obvious Mimic Press. So just obviousmimic.com. I'm going to put that up there. I get nothing from this. I just bought it online. <clears throat> so let me show you guys, for those of you that are coming in, the artwork here. The Wolves of Langston. Uh, Murder Mystery. We're going to be playing it. I guess this is Langston here. Okay. Some of the credits. They also had a bunch of stuff that was um in there um to help dms out for making maps and stuff like that excuse me getting maps and stuff like that what you'll need all right the goal though the exact goal of the obvious mimic solo adventure will, will vary based on the story your goal as the player will always be to reach the end of the adventure in one piece ha ha i'll teach you to tell me to finish things in one piece, I'll be dead and starting over. Thank you very much. Know that there will be obstacles and hazards in your path that will challenge or even kill your character. You will have to use your character's abilities in your own wits. Well, that'll show you I don't have any wits <laughs> to overcome them and to reach your goal. What you'll need. To play this solo adventure, you need the following. A character of level one or two. I did made a character of level two, our rogue. A set of dice, which I have here in front of me, but also have on roll 20. And this book, I have a PDF. So I figure that will work for now. The solo adventure is designed to work on its own, but we understand advanced players, because that's what I am. I'm an advanced player, bitches. Advanced players may want to run encounters like more traditional tabletop experiences. So we also provided optional self-DM materials. Again, this is not necessary. You can find them here, which is where I did find them. The solo adventure will work with pencil and paper versions or physical dice if that's how you roll, pun intended. Or you could use a digital solution like D&D Beyond or Roll20 in our case. About you. You are the hero of this solo adventure. But who are you? I don't know. Who am I? What am I? Why am I here? That's because the obvious Mimic solo adventures are written for you to play whatever character you want. There are no restrictions. That means you could play a new character just getting started... Or you could use this adventure as a DM to prove downtime activity between sessions. That was kind of a cool thing is to, to give your characters solo adventures that they wanted to run and then see what the outcomes are. It's kind of cool. The story has been made in such a way that any character can see can succeed. Of course, some adventures will have an easier or harder based on your character. Um, but your choices as a player will help guide your character through the challenges. The only real restriction we include here is that our stories lend towards heroism. Big Jim Slade. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to have a solo TPK, Big Jim. <laughs> solo TPK. 
Um, I uh, try to not overlap. Uh, how'd the adventure go tonight, Jim? I watched for a while and I didn't want to overlap much. So I was well after the break. Um, so I don't want to, you know, duplicate any of our own efforts, but I did want us to run this tonight. No one died. I blame the DM. I really do. You're slacking, Jim. You're slacking. That's okay, dude. I Yeah, it's totally fine. I'm not normally streaming. I was just like, you know, I kind of feel like streaming. I got this little Wolves of Langston thing. I'm going to send this to you later, too, um, so you can take a look at it, see what you think of it. Um, probably not trying to fight the mobs I gave them. That would have been deadly. Oh, well, that's good. That's That means they're making good decisions as players and not getting suckered into stupid shit when you think oh I'm just gonna, they won't kill me Psh, bitch that's what you think the wolves of Lincoln has been written for tier one levels one to four characters that means that certain parts will be challenging for a level one character and easy for level four I did two to sort of shoot the middle on this one and my character is Alfred Locksworth rogue investigator hi elf Rovin, rogue investigator i just made it super simple so i could just burn up a you know set up a character really easy i think what i will do when we start this on tuesday though is ask the crew if there's anything that we think that we want to bring along mundane materials things like this and uh add that in there maybe we'll do a roll for one like odd item not a magic item, but just some odd thing that he's picked up on previous investigations or whatever. So, how to play. So I haven't read any of this shit yet, so we're going to figure out how to play this together. As you read, you'll have to follow through the prompts, uh, follow through the prompts to progress through the story towards your goal. The adventure is broken down into numbered sections that have been randomized within the chapters. You'll get choices like this to move forward. You would either flip to the section you've chosen, your only option if you're going to read the physical book, or to click on the go to link and jump straight to the sections available in the digital version. You can take either corridor on your left, go to 175 on the corridor to your right, go to 19. And so it's basically a choose your own adventure, which I thought is pretty fucking cool. Um, cause I love to choose your own adventures and I would love to be, I would love to be able to read choose your own adventures on stream, but I, I'm not sure if any of them are in the commons. So, you know, I should look into that and see what I can figure out. Um, but we coming on Tuesday, we're going to be doing this and kind of, you know, figure it out here. Many sections rolling dice in the text. Many sections don't give you a choice, but instead require you to roll some kind of check. Usually it's a skill check. It might look something like this. Roll a strength athletics check. If you get 10 or more, go to 192. If you get under 10, go to 33. In this case, your choice is based on the results of a skill check. So in the example above, I think we all know how to work that. Um, other situations may call for you to roll dice on random effects, like saving throws against negative effects or being damaged by your environment or randomizing certain events in the stories. These will be prompted as needed. Advantage or disadvantage. Some effects apply to advantage or disadvantage, blah, 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 combat encounters. Like any good adventure, you expect to engage in combat with monsters and villains. And they show Buttercup here. Uh, and Jelly, I was asking if this is a monster or a villain, and I assured them that it's not, because I will not fight Buttercup at all this just seems terrible and i also think that the adventure did not set up the uh buttercups um alignment uh, medium beast best boy or best girl is probably what the alignment needs to be here when you start a combat encounter buttercup would kick your ass well that's true that's true alfred has a whopping 17 hit points uh, and an AC of 16. So I'm not even, I'm not doubting that at all. Um, unless you're talking about in real life, then yeah, then still Buttercup would kick my ass. When you start a combat encounter, you follow these steps, read the block because some creatures will take special actions, roll for initiative, choose an action. If you're attacking, roll, roll damage, repeat. Okay, got it. 
What's different? There are a number of things that are going to be a little different. This game is meant to capture the fun of a tabletop role-playing game, TTRPG, but it's still, it's still its own medium. Here are a few things that work differently. Movement. If you're working with some of our self DM resources, and I am, like maps, then you can run combat encounters and explore environments like a traditional tabletop game. Oh, okay. Inspiration. Because there are no D there is no DM to give personalized rewards for your actions, this adventure hands out inspiration when you're on the right track. In D&D 5e, okay, got it. Option rule. Since you're playing alone without the benefits of party or to support you in your adventure, you may help offset the challenge by saving multiple inspiration when you might need it. Oh, multiple inspirations. I think that's kind of bullshit. So we're going to just do one inspiration. Taking actions outside the story. This solo adventure is a static work and it cannot truly replace the imaginative creativity of group session run by a game master. So how do you resolve actions, quote, off the page, end quote? Some examples like buffs or debuffs and healings are easy to resolve. Apply the bonus. For example, you can cast the guidance cantrip before you skill check, increasing your blah, blah, blah. But what about open-ended spells like illusions or enchantments? How do these resolve the story? The answer is... That it's up to you. Based on the open-ended effect you've applied, you can determine for yourself how it affects the story and the op and your options. So here are some examples. And we'll have chat to help us with this. So I think this is a good idea. Apply the charmed effect that let you automatically pass all skill checks when encountering another character. Casting a distracting illusion on your opponent, meaning that they take an action for one turn. Okay, so we'll figure that out and we'll see what that what is fair with that as we go and we'll just all try to be fair with our own decisions after the adventure over the course of the adventure your character will receive various rewards in terms of treasure items and experience these rewards are rewards are designed in such a way that you can take them on an, a solo adventure oh okay in other words we can keep shit with us but we're probably not gonna play this character again so Let's take a look at the adventure here and then we'll get out of here for the night. We're about an hour and a half in and I wasn't really planning on streaming all that long. Chapter one, the adventure begins. We're gonna play this on Tuesday, V. We're gonna start this on Tuesday. I know we're gonna start reading something else and I can't remember, I think Jelly picked what we were gonna read and I can't even remember what the hell we were gonna read. Uh, but we're going to play it Tuesday. We are going to play it Tuesday. Tomorrow night, I will probably do uh, Bedtime for Salty. We'll just do it right in the stream. We'll do it right in the stream. We'll all make decisions on what we're going to do. So we're just going to play this together. Um, I'm just going to read the introduction now so you have something to think about. Although I could roll because that doesn't change. Um, that's not a thing that... I need to read. Are we going to? Yeah, you're going to get to vote on what you do. Yep, absolutely. And we'll go with what the crew says we're, you know, the majority rules. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure I'll be dead instantly doing it that way. But after a long day on the road, you crest a hill and see the lights of a town. According to maps and helpful locals you've consulted, this must be Langston. Though the last blush of a sunset still colors the, si the sky to the west, lamplight is still already visible at the gate and in the streets. TPK, it'd only be one person, TPK. In the dim twilight, you s can clearly see that the dirt road you've been traveling transitions into cobblestones, and a simple stone wall rings the town. Yeah, it still counts. Even from this distance, you can see the timber-framed walls of the buildings in town are well-maintained with fresh whitewash that, that glow golden in the lamplight. It's a beautiful little town, a prosperous trading hub nestled amongst the fertile farmland and old-growth forests you spent the last days traversing. The stars are just starting to emerge as the lone howl of a wolf in the silence off somewhere in the woods. 
Sorry. The stars are just starting to emerge as the lone howl of a wolf splits the silence off somewhere in the woods. A chorus of responding howls take up the call, some in uncomfortably close, and getting closer. You pick up your pace to put more distance between you and the wilderness in hope of a soft bed. Oh, this song sucks. I really need to take it off the list. Where is it? It's really bad and I really want to find it. It's really, really bad. Uh, remove from this playlist. Goodbye. Cool. You pick up your pace to put more distance between you and the wilderness in hope of a soft bed, a hot meal, and some work for an enterprising adventurer. A town as prosperous as Langston looks to be a good place. It looks to be a place to do good, earn coin, and achieve glory. Maybe all three at once, so long as you're not eaten by wolves between here and there. Roll a perception check. If you get 10 or more, go to 23. If you get less than 10, Go to 10. Go to 11. Okay, let's pay, open up Alfred Locksworth and roll his perception. And that's when we will come back next time. Now, I will tell you, I will say that he's an investigator and I took uh, expertise in perception and investigation. So we will see. Oh dear, we rolled a 21. That's quite a roll, Alfred Locksworth. Go to 23. I like to look at the, the, oops. Oh shit. Yeah. We got some nice art smattering this through here. 23. Uh, uh, uh. We will come back to that, my friendos, next time on Tuesday when we do The Wolves of Langston. So come back, help me play Alfred Locksworth, and uh, we'll see how far we get. I don't know. Maybe we'll play this for a couple of weeks. Maybe it will be like a, a one shot that we do with on the on Pyro Club. Um, yeah, 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 I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. And again, let me put this out here. Um, I, I not sponsored. I, th I think I paid 12 bucks for it or something. It might have even been cheaper. Obvious mimic. You can find this and everything there. And, uh, yeah, you guys can help me on our path to uncover Langston's shadowy killer. Let's see if we can find somebody end screen thank you guys for hanging out for just a few minutes of your very busy day and schedule hey megapedia's on let's go raid them i'm glad they're feeling better megapedia used to be used to play on the pyro club until they started feeling a little ill or some things going on in their lives and so now they um, are back, and I think they're feeling better. So let's raid over to them. Say hello. Give Megapedia some love. Give them a like and a follow and a, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Be good to each other.